welcome to NRT experiments so now we will explain how to launch the XPy software on the desktop so I selected the RVC icon you have to click a single click on RVC icon it will launch the XPy device So on the top menu, we'll be knowing different uh, experiments which are listed at under different headings. We have to select the RVC tab. Under that, physics first time experiments. So we have selected the NPN characteristics experiment. So we'll be seeing the NPN characteristics experiment screen. Again, we are moving to RVC tab and going to physics first time. Then we are selected. RC transient response experiment. To make the circuit connection, we need to enable pop-up window so that we can see the circuit diagram, block diagram. According to that block diagram, According to the block diagram, we need to make the circuit connection on the breadboard. So by scrolling the instructions page, we will give the instructions. It will give the instructions. By going through the instructions, we can make the circuit connection on the board. And to proceed with, for charging the ca capacitor through the resistor R, we need to press the button 0 to 5 volt step on OD1. We can set the time base so that we can able to charge for more time. So if it is prompt for try device reconnect, select the device on the top head and we need to reconnect the device. Now we have pressed the 0 to 5 volt step on OD1, so it's charged up to maximum voltage and again we press 0 to 5 volt step on OD1, so it has discharged from maximum to minimum voltage. So that it will give the charging and discharging curve. Now we are giving instructions to save the data, so it is locating the folder we need to create a folder so for example we are creating a folder called b1 batch we created so that is in desktop so we are saving the data in b1 batch that b1 batch folder in the desktop so how we are saving the data means we are saving the data with the student name then experiment name dot txt dot txt format So that we will ensure that we have saved the data in the respective batch under our name. So 
so we'll make sure that where we have saved the data so we have selected the desktop and batch one so here we have selected yeah here we have saved the data and in dot txt form we'll be seeing the data over here now we need to plot the graph using new plot now i'm opening the terminal in b1 batch okay so in this directory i opened the terminal so i'm launching new plot so we have launched the GNU plot. So first, what I am doing, I wanted to put the title for our graph. So I am giving the instruction as set title within inverted comma. Again, I am giving the name so that student name. with experiment name I'm labeling for x and y axis so to set the x label so set x label within inverted comma x axis name similarly set y label y axis name so now I am going to plot the graph with the data saved in B1 batch for that I need to put a command that is plot within invited comma the file name in dot txt So we need to press enter here. So we will see the graph on the separate window. We need to save the graph. So I am save, saving, saving this graph as an image. Again I am locating the folder. I am choosing the desktop and B1 batch. Now, now I am giving the file name in dot png format name of the student with experiment name dot png format now I am closing this window now Again, I'm exiting from the terminal. See, the image is saved in .png format that is in B1 batch folder.